Okay, so these are my Daniel Smith um, watercolor sticks. And if you notice, I have not taken them yet out of the plastic. So they will not stain each other because they are watercolors still, but in a solid form. Like, uh, they look like oil pastels, right? So for now, I will um, use them in this uh, plastic so they will not stain. already created this um, chart and as you notice guys para siyang may nalalagas or kasi sticky siya eh. so um, when I use it on the paper ayan may dumidikit-dikit siya so ayun like parang may mga natira mga particles dun sa buff titanium ayan ganun siya so hindi siya pare-pareho I think it's because of um, different pigments and composition May ibang um, sticks tulad nito na madali siyang ikulay, hindi na lalagas, or hindi na chop Meron din namang iba na ano, um, matigas, like um, sa ibang colors dito na medyo nahirapan na akong gamitin. I am not sure if it's about the um, storage or minsan kasi pag matagal na yung paint, diba, nagiging ano siya eh. para siyang nagiging eh, para siyang tumitigas siya dahil hindi mo na nagagamit. I'm not sure if in, uh, dahil baka hindi nabibili yung color na nabili ko. So, ayan siya. Trying to um, color it using the rest para lang nagkukulay ako using um, crayon. And so, I'm done um, doing it for all uh, the colors. Um, then, kulay na natin to. Or let's activate the paint. So, tinan nyo may buff titanium. Yung nga parang may nalagas or parang may natanggal ng mga paint. Para siya kasing ganun eh. Para siyang nagsasmudge yung ganun. So, um, using this um, watercolor sticks as is, for me, hindi ko siya preferred na ganun ko siya gagamitin. Kasi, para din siyang watercolor pencils. Kung ganun mo siya, kung paano, how you um, colored it on the paper, magiiwan siya ng line, or yung parang um, form kung ha, uh, paano mo kinulay or paano nag-smudge yung color dun sa paper. Ayan. Ayan, so nakikita naman natin guys, how vibrant the colors are. So, itong quinacridone burnt orange, ang ganda ng kulay niya. Um, yung mga quinacridone um, colors talaga or lines, Um, somehow uh, attract ako or gusto ko talaga silang gamitin palagi in my paintings um, pinaka favorite ko is Pinacridone Gold and now ayan so trying to activate it using this nylon brush ang ganda ba? Diba? look how vibrant those colors are and um, imagine if you use the tube ba? Diba? kasi mas swab yun kasi nga liquid na siya So, ito, ano pa to? Um, sticks pa to. Pero, actually, the same lang naman yung ginamit down lang na composition dun sa tubes and dito sa sticks. Pero, syempre, mas madaling gamitin yun sa um, sa tubes kasi liquid na siya. So, kumbaga, hindi murder yung brush mo compare dito sa um, sticks. So, yan, na-notice yung opera pink. Yan, medyo parang, um, medyo na-disappoint ako dito sa opera pink kasi siya yung isa sa mga reasons kaya bumili ako ng Another set of colors. Ayan, I have to do this to get the opera pink. Alright, so yun. Uh, matigas siya. Hindi siya agad-agad nag activate Even yung I have to chop it or I have to smudge. Ayan. So, using... Pwede mo rin siya gawin ganito. Yung babasay mo na yung paper. Yan. So, yun. Yun, lumalabas na yung ano niya. I think medyo matagal na na-store itong stick na to. Ayan. So, um, let's go to different colors. <laughs> different colors. Um, actually, itong Daniel Smith is siya sa mga um, nagbago ng um, outlook ko when it comes to uh, watercolor. 
talagang um, vibrant, talagang overwhelmed ako sa uh, paints niya. So, dito, may mga uh, set din sila na Primatech or yung may mga um, texture. And, um, if you notice guys, itong ginagawa ko dito, pag medyo matigas yung, um, <laughs> yung, hindi ako masyadong makuha ng pigment, I wet the paper and then saka ko siya, um, ayun, ginagamit like a crayon. Ayan. So, ito, napansin may mga may naiwan na part. Wow. Diba? Sobrang bright nung kulay. And, um, lalo na kapag uh, ginamit mo sa florals or anything that um, you can use this type of um, shade. So, let's move to um, Garbazole Violet. Ang ganda, diba? Ang ganda rin ng kulay. Now, to Thalo Blue. Ayan. Maganda rin. Mas, actually, mas bright siya sa liquid or sa tubes. Probably nga kasi nga, um, solid form to na nismudge natin sa paper. So, hindi natin la lahat nakukuha yung um, pinaka pigment niya. Unless talagang soft yung stick. So, may mga stick kasi na matigas eh. Like itong um, opera pink, medyo matigas siya. Pero itong iba dito, malambot. Hindi ko sure kung um, the, sa color niya mismo. Kasi pag sa tube, talagang fair and square. Like lahat sila soft. Kasi nga, um, liquid form. Ayan. So, Thalo Turquoise. Very impressive din yung kulay nito. So, ayan. Kaya, kinuha ko rin siya as part of my sticks. And then, Serpentine um, Genuine. Um, ito, yan. And by the way, guys, hindi pa lahat ng um, colors sa tubes available siya sa um, stick form or in watercolor sticks. That is why medyo nag-struggle ako dito nung namimili ako ng kulay because I wanted to um, to choose yung mga favorite colors ko. Napaabos na sa tubes. So, ayun. Um, medyo natagalan na ako mamili ng kulay. Siyempre, mahal. Ang price ng isang stick may um, cost you around 470 pesos to 700 pesos. Ayan. So, ito yung ginawa ko. Pinutol ko na yung part ng stick. Nilagay ko siya sa half pan. Ayan siya. Ayan na siya, guys. So, if nakikita nyo. And, um, hindi ko, hindi ko pinunit yung, hindi ko kinat. Actually, medyo maingat ako kasi. And dito yung detail ng colors or ng paint. So, hindi ko siya basta-basta um, kinat. on the side is for me to remember the color in case I need to be technical or I want to get the um, specific color name names on the side of the half pan is just in case I lost my swatch 
or I don't have the sticks with me, I can easily recall the number or the, sorry, the color. See how big is a full pan? So on the right with this one, the bigger one is a full pan. And what I'm using for this is are the half pans. Here's what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be cutting a um, portion of the um, sticks. So I looked for my old um, tin case, which doesn't have any paints. Actually, I just used this to um, transfer some paints. So here's what I did. I already put some names on the side of the, you know, side of the half pants. So these are called half pants. And uh, yeah, so there is actually a magnet underneath. So, well, these are my um, uh, watercolor six in the half pans and in the glass container. So that's it. So, if you would wonder why, saan ko nilagay yung iba kong, yung other part of the sticks. Ito, so kung mga ko nung nalagyan ko ng oil pastel from Dong A and fortunately, kasha siya. Kasi wala akong makitang case for, specifically for Daniel Smith, I think it's abroad meron. Now, let's go ahead and make a painting. So, now I am inspired painting the um, stained glass of... Sagrada Familia because it's one of my favorite uh, places when I went to Spain. Ayan. So, napakaganda niya guys. When you go there, it's like, oh, it's really amazing. So, overwhelming. And since gagamit tayo ng maraming kulay today, I have thought of using or drawing the stained glass kahit medyo mahirap siya gawin. Kasi nga maliliit tas matagal. And syempre, kung gusto mo maging yun na yun yung itsura nung um, stained glass, you have to follow yung kulay, di ba? And ano yung itsura niya talaga. Hindi ka pwede manghula kung saan mo lang pwede ilagay yung um, specific colors that you like. Yan. So actually guys, I'm actually catching my breath. Um, today, actually a few days na um, getting asthma attacks and um, nung ginawa ko tong painting na to, medyo mas na rin yung pakaramdam ko because I think of the weather change. So, most of the time talaga nasa bay lang ako. I paint and I play games or um, I clean my stuff or arrange my colors. So, yun. So, as you notice guys, medyo nag-struggle ako dito kasi matigas yung ulo ko. I would really try the harder way. Hindi ko siya drenowing or hindi ko drenowing muna yung stained glass. So, medyo um, hindi siya as exact yung um, itsura ng stained glass daw yung colors somehow like I think 85% to 90% ng colors nakuha ko siya but if I have just um, if I could have just uh, painted I mean sorry if I could have just um, sketch first or use my permanent um, pen para maano ko na yung malagay ko ni outline it would be easier for me. It took me like almost half of my day just to paint this one. And using sa wall, I use buff titanium. So, medyo limitado ako dun sa, sa wall. So, um, nung ginagawa ko, nag-add ako na nag-add, nagiging heavy yung kulay niya. So, um, hindi ko nakuha yung talagang transparency since buff titanium is most um, is mostly opaque. Ayan. So, ayan siya. I still have to do a lot of catch-up on my vlogs. Still have some more paints to review or to try na binili ko and some inks and um, markers <laughs> na hindi ko pa siya na video because I also work at night. So, I'm pretty busy and Yun nga, I always have um, the rest of the day, pag sobrang okay ako, I do paint um, before I sleep or as soon as I wake up. But most of the time talaga, nagagawa ko talaga yung focused painting 
on a weekend. So yeah, yeah guys, I hope you liked this video and you learned something from <laughs> those things that I said. And um, again, I highly recommend for you to try Daniel Smith. If you, if it's your first time to try, I recommend for you to try the ones in tubes and explore from there. And thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe if you have not um, subscribed to my channel yet. I have a lot of uh, videos for you to look at like some of the reviews of other watercolors and paints and some food trips and travels. And wherever you are, please keep safe and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!